Search for App Mink. Hey there, App Mink scholars, and welcome to the first installment of App Mink Academy. Today, we'll be talking about the seasons. As you know, there are four seasons. Summer is very hot and there's lots of sunshine. Winter is very cold and depending on where you live, there may be snow and ice. Spring is warm and lots of flowers come out in bloom. And in autumn, the leaves change color and fall from the trees. But you might be wondering, why do we have seasons? That is an excellent question. Let's join Mink on a journey into outer space to find out. Firstly, it is important to remember that like other planets in our solar system, the Earth moves around the Sun in a circular path called an orbit. Bearing that in mind, let's take a closer look at our Earth. Earth is a sphere, like an orange. There is an imaginary line running through the Earth called the axis. You may notice that the axis does not run straight up and down. This is because the Earth is actually on a tilt or lean. That tilt is the reason for the seasons. As the Earth orbits around the Sun, sometimes parts of the Earth lean toward the Sun and away from the Sun. When the part of the Earth you live on leans towards the Sun, it's summer there. But you might be wondering, why is summer hotter than the other seasons? Another excellent question. It's because during summer, when the part of the Earth you live on leans towards the Sun, it receives more direct sunlight. In other words, that warm, toasty sunlight is hitting that part of the Earth straight on. It is more concentrated in one spot and more intense. And what about winter? Well, when the part of the Earth you live on leans away from the Sun, it's winter there. Winter is colder than the other seasons because during winter, when the part of the Earth you live on leans away from the Sun, it receives indirect sunlight. In other words, that warm and toasty sunlight is now hitting the Earth at an indirect angle. It is spread out over a larger area and less intense. As for spring and autumn, these are the in-between seasons. During spring and autumn, the Earth is neither leaning towards nor away from the Sun. Clear as mud? It may help us if we follow the Earth on its orbit around the Sun and see how it works. Imagine you are here. What season would it be? I'll put that question to you, at Mink Scholars. I'll give you five seconds to think about it. If you said summer, then you are correct. Well done. The answer is summer because the place where the arrow is pointing is leaning towards the sun. Now let's see what happens as the Earth orbits around the sun. Let's stop here for a moment. Do you notice that the Earth is neither leaning towards nor away from the sun? Right now, it would be autumn. Off we go again. Okay, let's stop here. We have made the journey right around to the other side of the sun. Do you notice that where the arrow is pointing is now leaning away from the sun? So, at Mink Scholars, what season would it be? I'll give you five seconds to think about it. If you said winter, then you are correct. Well done. The answer is winter because the place where the arrow is pointing is now leaning away from the sun. Let's keep going. Again, let's stop here for a moment. Do you notice that the Earth is neither leaning towards nor away from the sun again? Right now, it would be spring. Time to finish off this journey around the sun. Okay, so now we've arrived back where we started and it's summer again in the place indicated by the arrow. And hopefully, you have a clear understanding as to why we have the seasons. 
But our learning is not over yet. Did you notice how long that journey took to complete one whole orbit? I'll give you another five seconds to think about it. If you said one year or 365 days, then you're correct. It takes one year or 365 days for the Earth to make a full orbit of the Sun. In that time, we have four seasons. Each season is three months in length. And one more thing. Let's look at the Earth moving around the Sun again. You'll notice that when the top half of the Earth is leaning towards the Sun, the bottom half is leaning away from the Sun. That means that when it is summer in the top half of the Earth, it is winter in the bottom half of the Earth. For example, when it is summer in Australia, it is winter in the USA. So the bottom half always has the opposite season to the top half of the Earth. Okay, so let's wrap this up. So why do we have seasons? Because our Earth is not straight up and down, but rather it is tilted on its axis. That means that as the Earth orbits the Sun, sometimes parts of the Earth lean towards and away from the Sun. When the part of the Earth you live on leans towards the Sun, it's summer there. When the part of the Earth you live on leans away from the Sun, it's winter there. When the Earth is neither leaning towards or away from the Sun, it is spring or autumn. The relative temperatures in each season are related to the amounts of direct sunlight that a part of the Earth is receiving at any given time. So, that's it for the first installment of App Mink Academy. Now you know why we have seasons. Till next time, and as always, keep on learning! Here's Mr. Train again. What's he got for us today? Train. It's blueprints for a fire truck and all the parts we need to build it. Look at that! Big Mink has the wheels for us! Wheels! And Mink's got some too! Oh! Miss Mink needs some help! Thanks for helping, Mink! That was too heavy even for Big Mink! What's next? Oh, using helicopter hats! Great idea! Alright, now the cab! Look at how strong Big Mink is! Now the cab is on, and the lights too! Let's add some of the panels. And what's next? Door. That's right! Some more parts for the back. that helping us with the back part? Crane trunk. Yep, great work. Now, what's this last piece? Ladder. Yep, the ladder. Looking great, everyone. What lovely photos. Mink has a present for our fire truck. 
It's a magic orb that brings him to life. Now one more time, who have we got here? Fire truck. That's right, it's Mr. Fire Truck.
I'm here to help you. Yeah, we're gonna help you. Nah, I guess we not yet. Push. Search for App Mink. Somebody help! Evil Dr. Pig has snatched my bag! <laughs> <laughs> I've hit the jackpot this time. Not so fast, <laughs> Evil Dr. Pig. <laughs> evil Dr. Pig thinks he can steal Miss Mink's bag and get away with it? I don't think so. He's driving like a maniac, helicopter. We need to stop him fast before he causes too much damage. Go car, you can do it. <laughs> How can I shake off that pesky police car? <laughs> I know. Oh no. Car, watch out. Phew, close call, but now I've lost it. Car, there's another way. Go back to the previous intersection and make a right. Look straight ahead, and I think you'll find Evil Dr. Pig on the bus card in the distance. Yeah? Police car again? Where did he come from? Time to end this. I know what will get the police car off my tail. Time to use the oil slick. <laughs> nice dodge, car. Thanks, helicopter. Time to speed it up. <laughs> Battering ram systems, go! Hey, what the? Be careful with that thing! Good idea, car! Now's your chance! Oh no, it didn't work! Oh, that was so close! I need a way to get out! Wait, what's that? A tunnel! Finally, I'll be able to get rid of car! Oh no, not again! Now how will we catch Evil Dr. Pig? Finally! A free pig! <laughs> huh? Time to drop a spike strip! Oh no! A spike strip! Ah! <laughs> you may be able to stop my car, but I can still get away on foot! Not so fast, Evil Dr. Pig! Oh no you don't, Evil Dr. Pig! I sure am glad no one was hurt today. And we could return Miss Mink's bag. Yeah, I'm glad too, Helicopter. Us cars, we make the best police vehicles. Just look at my shiny motor. It is so powerful. At top speed, I can reach up to 130 miles per hour. Bad guys like Evil Dr. Pig see me coming in their rear vision mirror before they can even say yikes. With my motor, I can rise high up into the sky. Whoa, steady there, helicopter. You'll go right through the top of this building if you're not careful. And the last thing I want to be doing is cleaning up a big mess. For us cars, control is important. We need the best steering to avoid objects on the road. People, animals, and sometimes big rocks, and even oil. Good steering helps us to move around these objects with ease. Helicopters too have plenty of air and space to fly around in, but we also need to change direction quickly. That's why we use our tail rotor. Tail rotors also help keep us stable. Without it, we'd spin around and around in circles. Oh, that sounds scary. 
We have tires to help us stay stable on the road. Can you think of any conditions that would make it difficult for us to stay on the road, helicopter? In the snow and the rain? Exactly. But good tires keep us on the road, especially at high speed. They are also useful when driving through slippery mud. I bet you would need a good bath after that. Sure do. And I really don't like baths. We also have a rear wing that helps us stay on the road. Not to mention, rear wings look seriously cool. Don't you think, helicopter? It sure does look cool, car. But as you know, helicopters don't want to stay on the ground. They want to fly high into the sky so they can see everything below. We have these huge main rotors to help us do that. I was wondering when you would mention those. <laughs> Sorry, car. Now I will definitely be sure to let you know when I'm around. I could do that with my siren and flashing lights. The lights flash red and blue, and the siren makes a sound like this. Wow, so loud! But wouldn't you rather sneak up quietly on bad guys? Good point, helicopter. But sirens and flashing lights let other people know that I am coming. That way they can move out of harm's way. We need special lights too. We have a large spotlight for spotting things at night. With our spotlight, we can easily find bad guys. Also, it warns people of potential danger. Wow, helicopter! That is a very bright spotlight. And I can feel the warmth of it. It's like I'm sitting around a campfire. Do you have any marshmallows that we could cook and eat? <laughs> no, I don't have any marshmallows. Sorry, car. I can also make loud sounds through my loudspeaker. With my spotlight and loudspeaker, maybe we can host a special at mint disco party. Sounds like fun. You know what, helicopter? We sure do have a lot of differences. But when we work together, we make a great crime-fighting team. Teamwork sure is important, car. Miss Mink was so happy when she got her bag back today. With teamwork, we can make such a difference and help people. We sure can.
wagon. Everybody. Hello! Today, we are going to build a helicopter. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes! First, we should call the landing skis. Wow, here they are! is coming. Right on its place. Everything we need to be stable. Hey monster truck! 
Are these the parts for the helicopter's tail? Main rotor. Cool. Over here. Helicopter. Time the doors. One, two, three, four. Well done. <laughs> ah, the keys. You can do it, Mink! Yeah! Here we go! Cool! He's flying! Hey everybody! We're back at At Mink Town today, and guess what? There's a surprise waiting for us at the police station. Let's go find out what it is. Oh, hello, Mr. Walkie Talkie. What have you got for us today? Oh, some wheels? What are these for? Oh, it's the blueprints for a police car! And the wheels are the first step! What's next, Mr. Walkie Talkie? It's whatever's in this box? Ah, it's the axles for the wheels. Let's get them connected up so that we have a foundation for our police car. like so much fun, Mr. Walkie Talkie. Uh-oh, it's Police Chief Mink. Oh wait, he's going to join in. Now that the wheels are getting into position, what's next? We've got the siren, the bumper, the hood and the headlights, 
and the trunk and the tail lights. Let's see where they need to go. Here comes the hood and the trunk. Oh, look out! Oh no, I hope they're okay. Here comes Mr. Walkie Talkie and Police Chief Mink with the wheels. Alright, nice job guys. Now the helicopter will lower the windshield and the roof. Here comes the bumper, jumping into place. Oh, and now here are the doors, flying in from the hills. You guys know what to do. That's right, right on the sides. Lastly, here comes the siren, jumping onto the roof. Good job, Mr. Walkie Talkie and Police Chief Mink. Now we can introduce the newest member of the At Mink Police Force, Mr. Police Car. Thanks, everybody. Now let's say goodbye to Mr. Police Car as he goes on his way. Please subscribe to At Mink's channel and see you next time! Welcome back to At Mink Town! Looks like Mr. Train is doing well! <laughs> oh no! Is that evil Dr. Pig? What's he doing? It looks very suspicious! What's in that bag? There are some very suspicious looking tools. And was that dynamite? <laughs> What's he gonna do with that? Oh, this doesn't look good. Evil Dr. Pig, please stop! Oh my gosh! This is terrible! Mink! No, no! Police copter! Please help! The tunnel has been blown up! Somebody blew up the tunnel, Police Chief Mink! Oh, that's terrible! First we're gonna put out the fire, and then move that log! Good work, Mr. Fire Truck! Putting out the fire is a great first step! Same goes for you, Mr. Crane. Good work. Oh, what are we gonna do? Oh, uh, how do we move all this? Oh, that evil Dr. Pig. I know what we should do. What's that, Miss Mink? You've got an idea. Aha! Uh -huh. You think we should build a digger. Oh, yeah, that's pretty clever. Look here! All right, let's get started. First, we need the cap. Come on, cab. Don't leave us hanging. Next, come the sides and the seat. Jump on, guys! And on to the base. Come on, Grill, what are you waiting for? Next, 
comes the boom, arm, and the bucket. Quickly, we've got a tunnel to fix. Dr. Pig's minions are here to stop us. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Great work, Mink. All right. We're back on track. So, next up, we need the tilt cylinder and the blade. Great work! And now, the tracks and the frame. Ready to get rolling. Finally, the steering wheel gets to join. And now we're ready to help fix the tunnel. Oh, maybe a bit more power first. Oh, you're forgetting something. Huh? Thanks, Big Mink. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. See ya. All right, Mink. Let's go. Uh, uh. Uh. Uh, <laughs> evil Dr. Pig's minions are trying to stop us again. Great work, Mink. No time to waste. Mm. Hurry, Mink. We gotta get this cleaned up. Don't worry. I'm on it. Oh, oh, Mink. We're out of time. Oh, no. The train is coming. Hurry, Mink. <laughs> this is it. It's getting closer. I can do it. Alright, this is you it. You can do it, Mink. The train is saved! Another crisis avoided thanks to Mink and his friends. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to at Mink so you can see what Mink and his friends are up to next time. See you then!